what's up y'all this your boy jp the install guy here hope to make your install life just a little bit easier today we got 2008 acura tsx and i'm gonna show y'all how to actually run a power wire through the firewall so we can hook up an amp if this is your first time here at the channel please consider subscribing these are the things that we do here car audio tutorials radio removals anything car audio install related and from time to time i like to share some of my car audio knowledge so if you're a beginner or advanced this channel's for you so anytime I'm running wires through the firewall, I like to look for a plastic or rubber grommet. Every vehicle has a certain way of getting wires from the engine bay into the vehicle, and that's through a grommet. So as my camera is actually focusing, you see that on the driver's side next to the brake bolster, we have a rubber grommet right here. So now we need to go into the inside to make sure that nothing's in the way. So inside the car, there's actually nothing in the way of the grommet. I want you guys to notice that they have these tabs right here by the wire and this has electrical tape around it. So what I want to do is take my box cutter and actually cut one of the tabs out. And what this is going to allow us to do is move one of the tabs out the way so we can have better access to poke our hole through the side of the grommet so we're not touching any wire. And one of the tools that I like to use is this snap-on uh, wire runner. Uh, it has a point, very sharp point at the end, and you're able to actually poke a hole through a rubber grommet, and you can actually insert your wire through the opposite side, and this will fit up to a four gauge wire. But I do understand that everybody doesn't have this tool or a version of this tool, so I'm just gonna use a regular box cutter knife. And then what I want to do is I want to actually open up that tab. I want to go right in the farthest corner to the side. And then I want to make me a small incision. And I'm able to actually stick my finger through that hole so I know it's good and we're not touching any metal. It's all rubber. Now I take my wire pulling tool and I want to actually stick that through the other side into the engine bay. And then as you can see, it's on the furthest side away from all the wires, so now we're good. So now that I know that I have that coming all the way out here, I wanna take my power wire and actually tape it on to the other end. That way I can pull the uh, wire pulling tool from the inside, and then now we got our wire ran. Alright, so here I just want to show you that I have it all split loomed, uh, zip tied, I have the fuse holder mounted, and I'm actually going up under this little frame rail. I'm going to end up zip tying it to that factory zip tie, and I have it coming up under here, and that's when I'll actually mount it to the battery. And on the inside, I plan on doing more split loom right here and zip tying along some of this factory wiring up until where it goes up behind that panel. I'm gonna run it down here. Zip tie every four inches is not done yet because I'm not finished putting stuff on, just showing you how I ran it. I don't actually show how to actually hook up an amp anymore. I have uh, videos on how to do that, but we are hooking up the JP8 inside this uh, customer's car. This is just something real quick, some little small light work to where it's just uh, clean, didn't have a whole lot of time to do it, plus trying to record. But if you guys found any value in this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. Till next time, this is your boy Jay.